Hey, how's it going guys? And before we start with today's video, I have a pretty serious question I want to ask you guys regarding a potential mini-series. So next month, Hardcore Iron Man mode will be coming out. And I want you guys to vote in the straw poll whether or not you would like me to work on a small mini-series on the Hardcore Iron Man mode. I will elaborate more on what my plans are if I do make one at the end of the video. So if you want to hear the details and all that, definitely watch the end as well. So anyways, the straw poll is in the description. So make sure to vote and let me know whether or not you are interested in me making a Hardcore Iron Man miniseries. And aside from that, hope you guys enjoy episode 98 of the Iron Man series. Today's episode is pretty lit as well. So as you can see, my crystal shield is currently one tenth of a charge and basically very soon it will degrade into a seed. So a really easy way to degrade this when it has like say whatever 33 hits left or something is uh, actually to use the rock cake. So for example, right, my shield has six charges left. That means all I have to do is spam click this six times and as you can see, it turns into a seed. So this is a really quick way to uh, turn your shield into a seed when it's like almost used up. Alright, since I'll probably be using the crystal shield for a while, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself five crystal shields and of course imbue them. And I've already converted the seed plenty of times so that now the charge is basically the minimum at 150k each, which is really cheap. So let's go ahead and make five. So I'm hoping that these five shields will be enough to get all the abandon drops that I need. Oh yes! Oh yes! Wow, that looks nice on the ground. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm happy about this, this is actually a master clue emote item requirement. So yeah, that's nice to get it done, man. So if you haven't gotten one on the Iron Man or something, definitely uh, consider. I mean, this task is really quick anyway, so you might as well do it for free points and whatnot. Whoa, holy shit. Look at this. I just got 87 Iron Dragons. Wow. I didn't even think that was possible. So like, what's the potential max? A hundred? All right guys, so it took me around seven minutes to get a full inventory, well, 26 buckets of a sandworm, and that's around actually 5%. A rough estimate is like, what, seven minutes uh, every 5%, eight times seven. I need around an hour left, but honestly, I thought the sandworms were gonna be a lot slower, but it's actually not. What the fuck? Are you serious? I got one of these two days ago, and I just got another one. What? What? Oh, do I even... What's the point of this? Do I pick this up? Like, I seriously have one in the bank from two days ago, and I, I get another champion scroll. What the heck is this? Like, seriously, I've never gotten champion scrolls in all of my RuneScape career. And, like, yeah, it all happens twice in within two days span. I, I just don't understand. Oh, Rune Longsword for the clutch kill. All right, well... I am one kill away from 150 KC. That's pretty crazy. Um, that is uh, pretty nice. Pretty soon we're gonna hit 200, man. But yep, nothing uh, yet ever since the uh, Bandos play body. So I've been doing a lot of dragon tasks lately and uh, banking most of them when convenient. And look at that, stocked up on 2,000 dragon bones, and that's around a little bit over 500k per experience. So that is more than enough for 86. So I'm gonna get that right now. More prayer the better. One, two, three. 86 prayer. Hell yes, guys. That's awesome. 274k to 87. Wow. Okay, so I still have like 1,400 dragon bones. I know that 1k is like 250k experience about. And like 300, you know, it's like a third of that. So like, and also I have back enough bones too. Damn, I have enough bones actually to go for 87. I guess I'll see you with 87. Uh, very soon as well. Oh my goodness guys got my final mushroom spore that I need to make this fairy ring So I grew the mushroom spore and I collected the mushroom So now I have enough to make myself the fairy ring now And I could not use the crystal saw to make this one because for some reason if it's not something you normally use to make With the saw then you don't get the boost first. Yeah spicy stew boost Worked easily and also the tea in your plant on house works too, but I don't have that built yet so now that this thing is built here, it's going to be even more convenient to use the fairy ring. The only thing that I could do to make the fairy ring even more better is when I finish the Elite Lumberage Diaries, which is coming up. 
in uh, the near future. Just need to get the smithing. But yeah, once it's done, I don't need the drama staff for it, so that's good. I should be... Yes! 100% Piscalarius. And I have now completed every single favor in every single goddamn place in Zaya. Make sure to lock this favor, of course. And after that, I believe I can actually, of course, fish anglerfish, which was the whole reason I do this. So this is the guy that you talk to to lock the favor, I believe. And yep, this is the last architect that I need to uh, hire to make the uh, new statue of Karen. So let's check it out. All right, guys. So all the architects are here. So if I start talking to them, they should be uh, making the statue. So yeah. Okay, this big pillar should uh, soon after transform into the statue oh wow look at that that's actually pretty cool i mean now that is a good looking statue so another bonus thing for completing all of the favors in zaya is you have the ability to unlock the serex heart teleport which is okay i mean it can teleport you all the way here but there's already a spell that you can use in your actual spell book that does the same thing so i don't even know why they even bothered with that because like honestly what they should have added for new teleports for this amulet talisman should have been a teleport that teleports you to Pitskiller's house and one for Arceus house. Hey, we got a bunch of people fishing anglerfish. That's nice. I'll have some company. It's time to uh, start fishing myself at the angler spot. So this will be definitely the place for me AFK for a bit. I'll be mixing it up along with wyverns. If I need more AFK, you know, I'll go here. So I've already spent a few hours at the uh, anglerfish and of course I got myself almost 100 dude I'm so excited I'm about to go to the banos right now and use these things very nice got myself a kill trip wound arrows well I'm 180 kc now and yeah I haven't gotten anything uh, ever since the first drop of 11 kc but it's okay whatever right can't always be lucky I'm getting so many four step easies Oh my god, damn, dude, those look like fluoride trousers, but it isn't. Ceridoman robe legs. And yes, before anybody continues to uh, comment that, oh, look, it's pronounced flared trousers, flared, but of course I know that, guys. Come on now. I like saying fluoride because it just sounds much cooler. But yeah, onto the medium clue, though. New unique item. All right, this one is also a pretty long clue. Here we go. Whoa! That's insane, three uniques. Jesus. I mean, this one I already have as in like, you know, three actual medium clue reward exclusive. White butter, I don't think I have that. Adam and play by G. I don't think I have that either. Jeez. Alright. Good going, man, with these clues. Alright, ninth kill. What's the drop? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! On the 200th kill! <laughs> oh my god, no way! Yo, shit, that was such a close call, guys, but nowhere as close, you know, as the first time with the Benos chest plate. Oh my god, but this one. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh man, I was gonna try to go for a 10 kill trip, but yeah. Nice, dude. 9 kill trip ended it on 200kc with a Benos tacits. Hell yes, guys. That's amazing. So the core, uh, Banos pieces, I've got it now, of course. Uh, I mean, if you include the hell in the boots, I don't got that. But yes, that looks so nice in the bank, guys. You have no idea. Oh, my God. Awesome. Hell yeah, that's so nice. Okay, well, I am, uh, as you can tell, very addicted to Banos right now. It's so fun, you know, when you just get those, like, seven kill trips consistently it just is so fun but anyways i'm gonna go back for more gains hopefully so yeah let's see what is uh next for drops oh my god though gains what the hell i accidentally clicked on the chest before i hit recording but what the heck is this clue seriously jesus master clue scroll ancient page godix kite shield blue dragon mask wow that is insane and um this blue dragon mask I don't think I have this yet, but wow, this master clue though, I am uh, pretty excited to read this real quick. Okay, it's a Sherlock clue. 
I think I'll be fine. Let's go, Master Clue time. Pretty excited. Okay, Sherlock, please. Don't give me something too hard, alright? Smith the rune I met helm. Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> so, that means I need 83 smithing in order to boost to make this helmet for this Master Clue. And honestly, I am not going to drop this just because I plan on getting the Lumber's Diaries done at some point anyways. And the Lumber's Diary requires me to get like 80-something uh, smithing as well. So, I might as well kill two birds with one stone. Probably going to start grinding this uh, gold smithing very soon. Okay, come on. One more hit. Hey, there we go, guys. 99 defense has been achieved here. Putting me at pretty much uh, max melee stats, I guess, if you consider defense in melee as well. So, yeah, I have uh, maxed all of my combat stats in general. And how many nines are we at here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I guess this can be the seventh one. But yeah, at the moment, we are at our uh, sixth. 99 not the hardest 99s to get but um i mean obviously scooting the slayer but i'll take it bro i will take it man anytime oh here we go 76 smithing guys uh starting to work a bit for the master clue scroll grind right now uh, i need seven more levels still uh for a total of twenty-six thousand gold or as i have had half of it so uh, yeah, once I use the ones I've gotten from like PVM and uh, Muddle and all that, I need to buy the 13,000 from, you know, this guy over here, but uh, plan to get the 83 smithing for both the diary and the master clue scroll within hopefully just two or three days, you know, kind of try to bang out these levels as quick as I can. Ah, Longbone! Fuck off, seriously? Longbone, you funny, man. So I've been fishing anglerfish for a bit now. I think I've gone myself like over 600 uh, ever since I started and um, it's pretty good. I mean the bank is close by and they are pretty slow to catch. I think I'm getting like uh, maybe a little bit over 100 an hour. So it's like very similar to sharks but of course these things heal for more. So yeah, I've been told that maybe the fish uh, spots move a little quicker, but I don't really notice it too much. I mean, it certainly is pretty convenient because all the spots are usually uh, pretty compact anyway, so you, there's not much moving. And of course, I've been using the anglerfish at Bandos, and let me tell you, it is so much better than sharks there. No joke. I mean, think about it. Every um, extra space for food is two extra HP because of the anglerfish, you know, healing 22 at my level. And also I can eat above it, so I'm like sitting at 121 before the boss spawn, so that means like I don't have to worry about eating as much in the beginning, which is pretty damn nice. But overall though, it's helping me sustain like 4 to 5 minimum kills a trip at Bandos a lot more than the shark, so that's amazing. Check that out guys, just at 77 smithing, that means I need 6 more smithing levels to go. And yes, yeah, so the blast furnace got updated uh, quite a bit ago. I mean pretty recently I suppose and uh, Normally in order to uh, do this like really fast and efficiently you would uh, Look for a French chat that would operate for you and you pay a service Well, you know that doesn't really exist anymore instead you just go to uh, the blast furnace world where These NPCs work the blast furnace for you. It's 60k an hour. So it's, I mean it's pretty cheap but yeah, it's about the same thing except a bit more convenient because it's always on 24-7 and yeah, I'm getting like apparently 260k smithing experience right now with gold. And here we go, 78 smithing. Now I can make Adamant Square Shields, not bad, here we go, 168,000 to the next level. So uh, still under an hour per level, that's crazy, but I do need to stock up on gold ores very soon uh, probably by the time I hit like what 80 or something I need to buy like another 13,000 all right it's been a while since uh, I've got a level in farming but here it is 94 farming I still have tons of fruit trees you know slash trees to probably get to 95 as well so that is very nice but it's gonna take a long ass time though so yeah I'll see you with 95 maybe in the distant future all right here goes nothing wow got the D high boots Jeez, and a Sar Sarah and Cross here too. Huh. That was pretty good. I mean, yo, man, in terms of value, this is a really good hard clue. Um, but yeah, nope, Black Dragon Master yet at 255 hard clues. Not bad.
And here it is. 79 smithing can make adamant warhammers, station supply hunts for. And that means I need four more levels to go. Still under an hour to get 80. That's still crazy fast, but yeah. Really close to running out of the gold ores, so that means I need to start buying them very soon. 13,000 more gold ores from this guy. I wonder how long it's gonna take. Hopefully, it doesn't take any more than two hours. But yeah, man, four more to go. Okay, so I've been buying gold for like the past 20 minutes because I'm already out. And look at this 1.8k in 20 minutes. Jeez, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so I have uh, spent quite a bit of time and uh, I got myself enough nature essence and electa emblems to get myself. 32 jar generators, which is about 970 jars. Alright, so I've been uh, doing a bit of the electric impling catching, so I have 300 now. And uh, I was gonna try to just stock up on like a thousand, but I think I'm gonna change the way I do it just slightly. I'm probably just gonna, you know, use the jar generator, of course, and go into catching electics. I'm gonna open them as I catch it. And then I just do the medium clues as I get it instead of just stocking it up because um, I think I'll save me a bit more time in the long run if I do it that way instead of just stocking it up. For now, I'm just going to do these 300, uh, do any medium clues I get from it and uh, see. Holy shit, man. Four medium clues and under 30 implings. Wow. Oh my god, this is such a good method. I mean, right now I'm lucky, I know that, but number five medium clue. Oh, nice! Here we go, first unique item of the day. And I for sure do not have this, so... Alright, it seems that I have a new elegant set right there. Awesome, man. More sets completed. So this is probably the end of the medium clue. And uh, this one requires me to, you know, go all the way to the Lumber Swamp. But actually, you don't even need a light source to do this. And as you can see... I actually did not require a light source to actually do this clue, but you have to do this quick though because the bugs are going to start attacking you and all that stuff as you can see. So yeah, you want to do this quick. Okay, so this is medium clue number 10 of the grind with the electives I've got. I believe the rate is 1 in 25. I know the wiki says it's 1 in 50, but I've consulted a lot of people, especially the people that did you know, uh, this method and they can guarantee that it's like 1 in 25. But yeah, let's open this bad boy out. Here we go. Okay, Adamant Shield uh, H3 trim. Don't know if I got it, but uh, this might be a new item, honestly. Can I put it in the... Yes! Okay, indeed, it's a new item in the chest. Nice. So, this is my 15 medium clue of the day. I'm gonna try to do like 10 a day or something at this uh, rate. And uh, see what we get on the 15th one. Okay, well, more alcohols. Lovely. That was good. What? What? Oh my god, no way. No. No way. Seriously? Holy shit. The fucking Bandle Slug, guys. Oh my god, I'm not kidding, dude. That Bandle Slug right now, it's insane. That is my second um, Tacit. What's the drop? Elite Clue Scroll from Bandos Boss. Oh, that's certainly interesting. I have not gotten uh, Elite Clue Scroll from this boss here, so that is very nice. Just letting you guys know, you're probably not gonna see another 20 minute video for a while because holy shits, I have to be super lucky to get enough clips on time for something like this. And it's a lot more work, okay? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode and of course to the usual people that watches the video from the beginning all the way to the end. You guys are fucking awesome. So let me start talking about the potential Hardcore Iron Man miniseries and I'm going to keep it very simple. The Hardcore Iron Man is not going to have some uh, crazy series rules or anything. I am just going to play until I get bored, okay? And I'm just gonna play whenever I want. There probably won't be any like consistent uploading schedule or anything like that. It's just gonna be something I wanna do on the side whenever I feel like it. And also, I will probably stop that character the moment I die on it, like actually like a real death. Because the reason is very simple. If I die on the hardcore Iron Man, I lose the hardcore Iron Man symbol, I become a normal Iron Man. So what will be the point of playing on the hardcore if it's not a hardcore anymore, right? 
So that will probably be the way for me to end the series is I try my best to not die. Of course, I'm not going to be an asshole and like just let the character die level 10 or something. I will try my best to not let it die. And anyways, yes, it should be a very interesting series if you guys do want it. Definitely let me know in the straw poll. I guess in the comments too, whatever. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days, man. Take care and bye-bye.